measuring and drawing angles using a protractor. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my classroom. Today, we are going to learn how to measure and draw angles using a protractor. Are you ready? Let's begin! Let's start by understanding what an angle is. An angle is formed when two rays meet at a common endpoint called the vertex. This opening between the two rays is what we call the angle. Angles are measured in degrees, while a full rotation like turning in a complete circle forms 360 degrees. And we use a special tool to measure them. This is a protractor. It is a measuring instrument shaped like a semicircle. We use it to measure how wide or narrow an angle is. A protractor has two parts, the outer scale and the inner scale, both ranging from 0 to 180 degrees. Let's use the inner scale as an example. If one arm is pointing at 0 and the other at 10, it also shows 10 degrees. Or you can use the outer scale. If one arm is pointing at 0 and the other at 10, it also shows 10 degrees. Here's another example using the inner scale. One arm pointing at 0 and the other at 50, the angle formed is 50 degrees. Now here's an example of a 90 degree angle and another of a 130 degree angle. Now when measuring an angle, you may use either the inner or the outer scale of the protractor. Now let's use the protractor to measure the angles of some objects. First, here's an image of a slice of a pizza. Let's measure its angle. Step 1. Make sure that the vertex of an angle is at the center point of the protractor and that one arm is pointing at zero. Remember, you may use either the inner or outer scale. For this one, I'll use the outer scale. You'll see that one arm is pointed at 0 degrees, while the other arm is pointed at 45 degrees. This means that the angle measures 45 degrees. Next, let's measure the angle of this object. Again, make sure that the vertex is at the center point of the protractor. There you go! And one arm must be pointed at 0 degrees. This time, I am using the inner scale. Now, let's see where the other arm is pointed. It's at 125 degrees. Hence, this angle measures 125 degrees. Finally, we have a table. Let's measure this angle. Obviously, this angle forming a square is a right angle which measures 90 degrees. Let's check if it's correct using a protractor. Again, place the vertex at the center of the protractor and align one arm at 0 degrees. Here, I am using the outer scale. Here, we can see the other arm is pointed at 90, which proves that it is indeed a 90-degree angle. Wonderful! Now that you know how to measure angles, it's now time to learn how to draw an angle. Grab your protractor, paper, and pencil, and let's try drawing an angle ourselves. First off, we have here 85 degree angle. First thing that you need to do is to draw a straight line. This will be the one arm or ray of our angle. Next, place the center of the protractor on the end point with the ray pointing at zero degrees. Here, I am using the outer scale, but you can use either outer or inner scale. Then, find the 85 degrees on the protractor and mark a small dot. Now, connect the dot back to the endpoint. And there you have it! You've drawn an 85 degree angle. Perfect! Now, let's draw another one. This time, a 30 degree angle. First, start with the baseline. Again, this will be our arm or one ray of our angle. Next, place the protractor on the endpoint of the ray with one sign pointing at zero degrees. This time, you can see that I am using 
the inner scale. Now let's find and mark 30 degrees. Then draw a second ray connecting the dot to the endpoint. There you go. We now have the 30 degree angle. On to our last one, let's draw a 120 degree angle. Same steps. Start with the baseline. Center the protractor to the end point. Making sure that one end pointed out the zero degrees. Here I am using again the inner scale. Find and mark 120 degrees. Connect the dot back to the end point. And now you've drawn a large angle, 120 degree angle. Nice work! Wonderful students, you made it this far. Now here are the things that you learned today.